major milestone of starting Drake Unit 5 uh, just occurred. Back in August or September time frame last year, we, we mapped it out and we said we're going to be up by March 31st. We were able to return that unit on March 10th of this year, 2015. And uh, that was three weeks ahead of schedule of what we were scheduled for. The major extent of the damage to Unit 5 was the wiring itself, the generator protection relay. There was also damage to the front standard of the turbine where the fire actually began. And a lot of that had to be completely torn apart and reconditioned. We did lose all the controls and the uh, instrumentation uh, and some of the steam piping as well. But as a whole, the turbine and generator were, were not affected by the fire mechanically. Right now we're inside the electrical building for unit number five. As you can see in here, you can see all the wire terminations that had to be brought in to all the new equipment to be able to generate power out of this unit once again. When we energized the equipment and sent power to the grid, it was like, finally, amazing. So for our department, for our, our whole company, it was a sigh of relief. When the breaker closed on Unit 5, it was a, just a huge sense of, of completion. This is our, our new governing control system. This is how we control speed flow through the turbine. This system here upgrades us from the old system of having latching oil coming up to the front standard, which is where we had the fire happen in the first place. By upgrading the system and going electronically rather than oil pressure, it's now a much safer environment and to work on that equipment is much safer for all the employees and any visitors that we have. We're in the basement area of unit number five, where 10 months ago, this area was hardly recognizable. The other repair damage was the small bore piping. There was 10,000 feet of piping that had to be replaced for that. There was 10,000 feet of stainless steel tubing that ran our instrument airlines to control devices. You're able to see a lot of the small bore piping and all the insulation that had to be redone, all the stainless steel tubing, all the transmitter panels. Another part of the overhaul that had to be done to the structure was all replacing of the, the roof members. We had about 80 foot of roof that had to be uh, re retired. So we also had a great deal of work done to the turbine wall. There's a two hour firewall here that keeps the, that separates the office area of the plant from the main plant itself. We had about 20,000 man hours spent on Unit 5 alone of our own employees. And the fact of seeing work groups come together and do jobs that they're not normally done doing together, that's just amazing. We all know that we pay a, a large role in, in Colorado Springs utilities, uh, keeping rates low. So it's uh, really based on the customer and, and doing everything that we can to be producing affordable and uh, reliable power. 254 megawatts at this site now is available to provide low cost energy to our ratepayer in an environmentally responsible manner. The Drake recovery is complete and Drake 5 is alive.